Welcome to GoVM Lab, India's first job-ready VMware learning platform where professionals meet experts to revolutionize their VMware careers. Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab, VMware vSphere Distributed Switch Advanced Networking Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to learn about packet cap utility provided by VMware by default in all the ESXi 5.5 and the later versions. The packet cap is a packet capture and analysis tool used to inspect the contents of packet while they traverse the network stack on ESXi host. Packet capture tool can be used to diagnose networking problem such as slow connection, lost packets and connectivity problems. In the last lecture, we did the packet capture at the physical uplink adapter level and then we did the analysis of our packet by reading that packet through TCP dump utility. In this lecture, we are going to do the packet capture at the virtual machine switch port level and we'll do the analysis of those captured packet or live traces using TCP dump utility. So now with that, let's get started. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server named as savcsa01.govmlab.local. Let's go and browse our vCenter server. Within that vCenter server, we do see our data center created named as SA data center. Let's go and browse our data center. Within that data center, we do see a cluster created named as SA cluster. Let's go and browse that cluster. And within that cluster, we do see there are three ESXi hosts added to this cluster. And there are a bunch of virtual machines which are running on that cluster. Now for this packet capture exercise, we are going to refer virtual machine named as source VM01 and source VM02 for the traffic generation. So we would be generating traffic between these two virtual machines and then we'll be doing the live capture of that traffic and doing the analysis of that capture using packet cap and TCP dump utility. Now before we go and start generating the traffic between these two virtual machines, let's have a quick review of our vSphere networking configuration. So click on networking and we do see that there are two distributed switches created on our vSphere infrastructure. Let's go and browse our very first distributed switch named as VDS site A. So click here to browse our VDS. Within that distributed switch, we do see there are two port groups created. The first port group named as DVPG VM network for virtual machine traffic. And the second port group is a well-defined DV uplink port group. Now click on distributed switch, click on host, and we do see that there are two ESXi host, SA ESXi01 and SA ESXi02 host added to this distributed switch. Click on VMs and we do see that both of our reference VMs, which we are going to use for our TCP, which we are going to use for our packet cap exercise is also connected to our distributed switch VDS site A. Now let's go and click on the VDS site B and we do see that there is only one VM user VM01 is running on that distributed switch and that is in powered off state. And if you click on host, SA ESXi03 host is the only host which is added to this distributed switch. So now for our packet cap exercise, obviously we are going to refer our distributed switch VDS site A because all of our reference VM are connected to this distributed switch. So now let's go back to our host and cluster view and let's start generating the traffic between these two virtual machines. So click on source VM01 and before we go and start generating the traffic between these VMs, let's have a host detail of this particular VM. So as you could see that source VM01 is actually running on our SA ESXi01 host. Let's click on source VM02 and we do see that our source VM02 is running on SA ESXi02 host, which means that both of these VMs are running on two different ESXi host. So now let's go and generate the traffic between these two virtual machines. So let's click on source VM01 click on OK. Let's run the command if config and the IP address of our virtual machine is 172.20.11.202. Let's go back to our vSphere client, click on source VM02, click on OK, run the command if config and our source VM02 IP address is 172.20.11.201. Now, so let's do the from source VM01 to source VM02. 
So let's go back to our source VM01 as you do see that and we'll run the ping command. We are going to give the packet size as 4096 bytes and IP address of our other VM that is 11.201. So what we are doing, we are actually doing the ping command with the packet size 4096 bytes and the destination IP that is our source VM02 IP. Now press the enter key and we do see that our ping traffic has started successfully and we have a network reachability between these two VMs. So now let's go. So now let's log into our ESXi host where this particular VM is running and let's try to do the packet capture. So as you could see that we are logged into our SA ESXi02 host. So now let's run the command ESX top, press N for networking view, and that's the default view of our ESX top command for networking statistics. So now we do see that our traffic has started successfully for this particular virtual machine. So now let's do the packet capture. So let's come out from this ESX top. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to continue watch this lecture, then join our exclusive YouTube membership program only at the price of 299 rupees INR per month and unlock your VMware potential with GoVM Lab. With this membership program, you can unlock all of our members only content published on our YouTube channel. You can watch out the videos presented on your screen to know the benefits of GoVM Lab subscription as well as the membership program. Thank you.